Welcome back. We made it out to the paint booth. Now we're ready to paint this truck. You remember this one. It's the 1996 Chevrolet 1500. We're working on it for our buddy David. He wanted to do something cool for his big brother who's graduating college. They had this beater truck laying around, so we said, hey, listen, we want to fix it up for you, make it look sweet. So we're going from the beater truck to something a little bit new school, man. This thing is going to be awesome. One of the things that's really going to set it off is a new paint job, and we're going to use this paint shop from Duplicolor. We're going to spray the whole thing down with white, and then we're going to hit some mineral gray down on the rocker panels and give it a little two-tone look, that's going to be awesome. Now the cool part about this paint is you don't have to mix it, you don't have to reduce it, and there's no recoat window, so it's nice and easy, anybody can do it. But before we do the painting, we've got to get some primer on there as well. So now it's time to point and spray. We've washed the truck, so now we're ready to prime the surface with Duplicolor Gray Primer. First, sand the area to remove excess paint or rust with 1000 grit sandpaper. Then we can wash and prepare the surface with a clean cloth and a mild ammonia based cleaner. Then I can mask off any of the areas that I don't want to get over spray on. Now it's time to prime the surface. The first thing we need to do is thoroughly stir the can of Duplicolor Primer. Next, go ahead and adjust the air pressure to 30 to 40 pounds at the gun before spraying. Let's apply two or three coats and allow 15 to 20 minutes dry time between coats. So now the whole truck is dry and it's primed and it's ready for paint. So I'm going to paint the whole truck white with the Duplicolor Paint Shop. And just like the primer, I don't have to mix it or reduce it. I don't have to do anything, which is very, very cool. Now what I'm going to do is keep the pressure about the same on the gun. And when I'm painting it, I hold it about 8 or 10 inches away. That way I get the best coverage possible. Now it's time to roll back in. Now I can spray a light to medium coat of Paint Shop. After 15 minutes, I can add a medium to full second coat and a mist coat immediately after to ensure the metallic colors are uniform. The white paint shop is all done on the truck and it's really looking good. I did let it bake for about 45 minutes. Now the deal is we want to do a two-tone look on this, so we want to add the Duplicolor Mineral Gray, but I've got to get in there and mask some of the truck off because I don't want to get overspray on the truck that I just painted, right? I made sure to spray evenly, and because there's no recoat window, I was able to apply a mist coat immediately. While the last coat is still wet, I just made sure to increase the gun distance to about 12 to 14 inches. Whew. It is getting hot in there, but the two-tone look is really coming together. I mean, wait until I get the clear on there and I buff and polish this thing, it is really going to shine. But now, we need to go to break, and when we come back, we'll be back at the shop. Mm -hmm. 